Hi everybody, happy Monday. I wanted to say, um, hope everyone had a great weekend, Have everybody was able to celebrate the 5th. I don't know what day of the week that was, I think that was Friday. It was National Donut Day. Anybody near a Krispy Kreme, if you was able to go to Krispy Kreme and get your warm, hot, and delicious donut with your, your dollar, small size, any kind of flavor drink, that was awesome. I don't know if anybody's near a Sheets. Um, that's a gas station. Um, Sheets, they were giving out donuts for free, and they had um, they have um, a machine kind of made. It's a do-it-yourself kind of milkshake. Those were a dollar. And if you got one of those milkshakes for a dollar, it's usually like $3 and some change, but that day was a dollar, and then you get two free hot dogs. I know I sound greedy, but I was all over it, all over it. So happy the 5th if you was able to get your free donuts and your dollar drinks and was able to enjoy that like I was. So it's Monday. I just washed my hair. Um, I had a braid out going on. At first I did like the straight backs like I always do when it's hot. Or when I just don't want to be bothered with my hair, I do the straight bags and then I wear those for a few days. Then I wash my hair with the braids in, either let it air dry overnight, or if I don't have overnight to let it set, I have a um, a hooded dryer that I sit under for about an hour to let it, you know, get nice and dry. So when I take it out, it's like really crinkly. And then I throw on a headband. I don't know what a headband is right now. It might be in my room, but I throw on a headband, any headband. I like the ones with the um with the teeth. Uh, I secure it in the back with some sort of um. It comes with a band, but it's loose. When you first get them, I think the brand is Scoonchi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The ones that it come with is kind of loose, and I like it to be snug. So I kind of um secure it with something else. I don't I don't know what I, I think I maybe I sold it. Maybe I stitched a few a few stitches in to make it tight, and then when I pull it back, like it's like really secure, it's nice like that, and then it's like the crinkles in the back, and it's it's cute. It, it wasn't not so cute. I had <laughs> I had a little I had a whole bunch of fuzz, a fuzz, frizzy fuzz, fuzz, fuzz is frizzy fuzz. I had some fuzz in the back, and I had the crinkles up top because I guess I sleep on the back, and the top was good. So I just washed my hair after a week. Also, it's hot. It's almost summertime. I was sweaty. I've been going to the gym. I've been working with this personal trainer. I got on the machine. They told me I could stand to lose 4.2 pounds of body fat and that I need to increase 2.4 pounds of muscle mass. So, I'm, I'm working with this guy that's trying to kill me. I'm hurting. Um, I'm aching, my legs are sore, my arms are sore, my back is all right for now, but I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm scared to go back. <laughs> so, but that being said, I'm going to have to get through it, and I guess I'll go back when I can. I'm, I'm averaging like one day a week right now, just because like literally I'm scared to go back. Every time I go back and I get to feel a little bit better, I go work with this guy, and it's, it starts all over again, and I know you have to be consistent, but it's hard to be consistent when it hurts. It's, it really is. So with that being said, my hair is, is drying. This is like air dried. I just um have my little. Let's see. Um, I don't know where it went. I had a, um one of those turby twists from Target, and um I air dried it. I kind of towel dried it. I air dried it, and now I'm about to use the blow dryer. Also, I like to say I, I like it on high, but I don't need I don't need all of that heat. I don't need the high heat. So I think I'm just going to use this little cool button here and have it on high. I like the intensity of the of the high power. I just don't want the high heat. And again, I love this Connie Infinity because it's got the double it's got the double roll of um teeth here.
Oh yeah, this is another little favorite of mine. This comb I got from Target. And I thought all Targets have them, or I thought they Target had them all the time. This is um a goodie, I guess a wide tooth rat tail comb. And tar I, I did get it from Target, but it, they don't have it all the time because um, a girlfriend of mine was staying by here sometime last year, and she was, like, drooling over the comb. And I was like, okay, well, you know, if you like it that much, go ahead and take it because I could get another one. So I thought. I went back to Target, and they didn't even have any more. So I was like, man, I done messed up when I gave it for my comb. So um, a couple of years, a couple of months later, lo and behold, they got it back. So I'll hold on to this one because I thought – I thought the Targets had these combs all the time, and they don't. I don't know if it's a special thing, but I know I was looking at multiple different Targets, and I couldn't find it until recently. So this is a great comb. I like if your head is itchy, you know, you just rake on through there, and it scratch. Or if you just got one spot that you need to get to, it get on in there, get in there like that. And I like that it's wide. If you're parting, like if you're about to braid, I like this one. You know, if you need to do those really precise kind of parts, but if you just need to, you know, get through your hair, you don't want it to be so finely, um, so finely um, packed together, you just kind of want to get out some knots or some tangles, I think, I think this is awesome, it's like, um, I want to say a dollar seventy-nine, maybe, possibly, um, no more than three dollars, it's worth it, if it is, I think it's a dollar seventy-nine, but if it's up to three dollars, I say it's worth it. Yeah, I get this thing blowed out, and I'll just wear it in a ponytail today because I don't feel like doing any types of braiding. I don't feel like doing no kind of styling. All I feel like doing is pulling it back into a ponytail. So that's what I'm going to do. Charlie, we're coming there. I work my way um, from the back to the front. It's more convenient for me. Some people section their hair off. I don't. I just feel like that's a little bit more work. Sometimes I'm in the mood for more work, but this is not a day I'm really all that much into work. <sighs> I feel like I'm tired already. I'm going through withdrawals. I haven't had a soda all day this morning. Usually, I have like a little mini fridge in my in my room, and I keep like Mountain Dews and Sun Kiss and Patsies, you know, on standby. And all I have right now is water. My son, he drank up all the apple juice, so I'm not buying anymore. I don't have any orange juice. All we have is water and some milk. We have some milk. I kind of like this comb to get the ends really good before um, I get through with the blow dryer. Because I, I just feel like the, the less I can have that that air on my hair, the better. So if I could get my tangles out before I get that thing to me, that'll help out just a little bit. And I don't know if this is um natural or good or what, but I always have like a little bit. I guess I guess it's regular. I try to be as gentle as possible. But I always get some breakage when I'm blow drying my hair. Not so much, but I always get some. Gosh, this middle part of my hair is like the worst. Woo, child, it is, it is crazy up in here. 
having a hard time. I've got to do small sections in this middle part. Because it's, it's a jungle. It's, it's kind of crazy. Remember to use the cool button because I need to get in sometimes. You see, I can't. If I just try to come up to the front, that don't work. I want it to work, but it, that don't work. That don't work. I can't just go through the front. You see, I tried to go through the front. But I can't just go through the front without combing through it. So I, I do have to go through like bit by bit. It takes a little bit more time, but it's okay, I guess. If it ain't, it's going to have to be because that's, that's the reality. That's the situation I'm dealing with. All right. It's not It's not horrible. I know it looks rough and it looks crazy, but it's, it's not as bad as it looks. It's kind of bad, but it's not all the way bad. I like to also kind of get to my hair when it's like a, a damp dry. Not all the way dry, like once it gets like crispy and hard, like not that dry when it's dry dry, but not definitely not soaking wet because your hair is like really, really weak and vulnerable when it's, when it's real wet. So like a, a damp dry, like... At the end, if you feel like just the outer part, you would think it's dry. But once you get in there, like once you get to the roots, you could feel like, oh no, it's still, it's still wet in there. Whew. Gosh, I think this is gonna count for a part of my workout today. I'm tired. Again, I have like, I don't know if you can see that. It's not a lot, but I always get like a little bit that comes out. I tell you, that noodle part is it's something else. It's treacherous. All right. I think it's okay. Right. 
Saturday, I'm tired. Hmm. All righty. And I'm thinking, I guess it's kind of obvious, like, the middle of my hair is, like, a lot more textured than it is around the perimeter just because I tend to pull my hair back. So, I guess all the brushing and combing and, I guess, slicking back kind of pulled out some of it to, like, loosen the texture a little bit because in the middle it's, like, it's it's pretty much all the same length all around when when I blow it out big, but the middle part shrinks down a whole lot more than my edges or the perimeter of my hair, if that makes any sense. Like you see the front and it looks like a lot bigger, but if you when I just wash my hair, the back looks like really flat, like really smushed in. It doesn't look like the back of my hair is as long as the front. It pretty much is, you know, except for, um, I don't know how to describe it. When I flat iron my hair and they, um, they trim it, the, the back, I guess, is a little bit shorter, but when you blow it all out big, it looks about the same size. But when I just wash my hair, the front looks way longer and the back looks way shorter because it, it scrunches up so tight, if that makes any sense. Like, you can even see, like, in the front part, it's pretty simple to get through. But I get to this middle part, and it's a little bit more challenging. It's not horrible, but it's a little bit of a, of a challenge. But you can see as I as I comb it out, you know, it it stretches out to where the other stuff is. It just shrinks down really, really bad. 
and that's because it, it's it's got more of the texture in the middle and I guess it's like more pulled out or the, the curl pattern has kind of lost its shape around the edge. I was hoping I could do a little shortcut and not do all the parts, but <laughs> as you can see, I wasn't able to get through that section, so I'm going to have to uh, comb it out. I couldn't get through it. I, I wish I was hoping I was, but that's not that's not my reality. Uh, Alright. It's a little bit tedious to do all this comb, but I guess it's worth it in the long run. Nope, still not having it. <laughs> That's it. It's not a whole lot. It's like the ends of my hair kind of ball up and don't want to act right. That's why I can't get the, the teeth through it. Alrighty. All right, I just want to make sure I got the middle, I got the bag, I got everything really good, which I do.
I have these, um, they're either, they're either goody or they're scoonchies. This is, um, supposed to be for thick hair, and I, I love it because it gives you so much more flexibility than these little things. These little tiny black ones here, they usually have, um, some glue or something in the middle, and if you pull it too tall, it'll just go ahead and pop. I, I like the little gold thing, I guess that's a little bit of flair. I don't know. I like it. And it's got a knot. When it first comes, it, this is how small it is. And you don't have to adjust the knot. You just um, you just pull it, and this knot will kind of open up as, as much as it needs to. So this one just kind of got tighter. And, and this little loop, this loop here, this is a brand new one that I never used. And this is one that I've been using for a little while and I love that I that I feel like I know that it won't pop on me. Um I haven't put anything in my hair. I have a couple different products. I'm gonna get ready to lay down for a little bit before I get ready to start my day. So I'm not gonna put any product in until I actually get ready to leave the house. But it feels really sore. It really does feel really sore. And um, I just used a, a deep conditioner. I didn't even use any shampoo. I probably just use the shampoo once a month. If it's hot and I'm sweaty and I just know I need to, like, clean my scalp, clean my hair, like, rinse it off to get, you know, the, the grime of the day, the pollutants, the sweat, I'll just, um, just basically put the conditioner in, in it. It feels really good. It feels really clean. It feels really soft. It's really dry. I'm going to put it in this ponytail. I'm going to lay down and then... I'll relax before I get my day started. I'm not even gonna put it that tight. I just put, I just knot it twice. That's it. I think um, I usually put it in a bun. It doesn't look like it's long enough to get into a bun, but it is. Um, I probably lift it up a little bit higher, and so the ends aren't exposed. I kind of tuck it into a bun, and it's it's cute. And I put my headband on. I have a couple different headbands that I like to wear. Once the headband is on, like I said before, it's done. Thank you for checking out my videos. You all have a great start of your week. Happy Monday. Bye-bye.